Okay, so today we are going to talk about step by step hypertension treatment. What is hypertension? What are the American Heart Association guidelines for the treatment of hypertension? What are the necessary investigations that you need to do? And how to start a patient on hypertension medication? What if the patient has certain comorbidities? What are the drugs that are used in those comorbidities? American Heart Association guidelines say that the systolic blood pressure less than 120, diastolic less than 80 is a normal blood pressure. Elevated blood pressure is the one that is between 120 to 130. And if the patient has blood pressure from 130 to 139, systolic and diastolic from 80 to 89, this is labeled as grade 1 hypertension. American Heart Association recently lowered the bar for the diagnosis of hypertension so that more patients can be diagnosed in the early stages to prevent long-term complications of hypertension. Grade 2 hypertension is the one where systolic blood pressure is greater than 140 and diastolic 90. For the diagnosis of hypertension, you need at least two readings on two separate occasions. This is because single reading cannot be used for the diagnosis of hypertension. Sometimes whenever a patient is in the hospital setting or in a clinic, they get anxious, they get stressed by the hospital environment and their blood pressure elevates due to that anxiety. That is called as white coat hypertension. So to avoid white coat hypertension, two readings are taken on two separate occasions. And the best method to diagnose hypertension is to check 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure. To measure 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure, a device is attached to the patient's waist and a cuff is applied on the patient's arm. That device is there for 24 hours and it takes blood pressure reading throughout that 24 hours patient is doing his daily life activities and you are checking 24 hour blood pressure. So that reading is more accurate for the diagnosis of hypertension because patient is not in the hospital setting, patient is at home relaxed. So home blood pressure monitoring or 24 hour ambulatory BP monitoring is the best method to diagnose hypertension. What are the investigations that you need to do in a hypertensive patient? To help quantify the risk, you you check their fasting blood glucose to exclude diabetes. You check their cholesterol level. To see for the end organ damage, you check ECG or ECHO. To, you look for left ventricular hypertrophy. You do urinalysis to check the damage to the kidneys. You look for proteins. You look for RBCs in urine. To exclude secondary causes of hypertension, you can do calcium levels to exclude hyperparathyroidism. You can do urea and electrolytes. And what we are looking in urea and electrolytes is hypokalemia. Hypokalemia is seen in Kohn syndrome and Kohn syndrome is a cause of secondary hypertension. I have talked about secondary hypertension in detail in my video on secondary hypertension. You can check out the link in the description. Now coming to the treatment of hypertension. If the patient has normal blood pressure, you ask them to come for follow-up after one year and you check their blood pressure routinely. If the patient has elevated blood pressure 120 to 130, this patient does not need medication. This patient needs lifestyle modification. You ask them to bring certain changes in their life and you ask them to come for follow-up within six months. What are the lifestyle modification? Lifestyle modifications include diet, exercise, weight loss, and smoking. In diet, they have to follow a certain dietary protocol that is called as DASH diet, dietary approach to stop hypertension. DASH diet includes the diet that is having grains, vegetables that is high in fruits, nuts that are not salted, lean meats, and certain dairies. They have to limit their salt intake to less than 2.5 gram per day. And they have to increase their potassium intake potassium containing diets like bananas but these potassium containing diets should be taken with caution if the patient is having kidney problems they have to limit their alcohol intake and they have to perform exercise at least 30 minutes per day of aerobic exercise for most days of the week they have to lose weight if the bmi is greater than or equal to 25 and they have to quit smoking so these are the lifestyle modifications that you have to bring in a patient's life and you ask the patient for follow-up in six months. Now, how will you treat grade one hypertension patient? If the patient is having grade one hypertension, it depends that whether patient is having certain comorbidities or not. Comorbidities like diabetes mellitus, risk of coronary artery disease, risk of stroke. If the patient is not having any comorbidities, that patient should not be started on medication and you ask the patient for lifestyle modification and you ask them to follow up in three months. 
quicker than elevated blood pressure category. Patients with comorbidities need to be treated with medications because these patients are at high risk of developing complications of hypertension. So you start medication with lifestyle modification and you ask the patient to follow up in one month. In one month, you check their blood pressure and you see whether the dose of the drug needs certain titration, whether you need to increase the dose, decrease the dose, or you have to change the medication due to side effects. So the patient has to follow up in one month. If the patient is having grade 2 hypertension, that patient is definitely going to need medication with lifestyle modification. Now, how do you start a patient on medication? If the patient is not having any comorbidities, comorbidities like diabetes mellitus, coronary artery disease, or risk of stroke, if these things are not there, you, can, you, you have three options. In three options, you can either go for thiazide diuretics to control blood pressure or ACE inhibitors or calcium channel blocker. You can choose any one of them and start the medication. If the patient has comorbidities, comorbidities like heart failure, coronary artery disease, in such condition, you should go for beta blockers or ACE inhibitors to control their blood pressure because these will control the underlying heart failure as well as the blood pressure. So they have a protective effect. ACE inhibitors prevent remodeling due to hypertension. So these patients will be better on beta blocker or ACE inhibitors. If the patient is having chronic kidney disease, except stage 4. If the patient is having chronic kidney disease, go for ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors have protective effect to the kidney. If the patient is having diabetes mellitus, go for ACE inhibitor because ACE inhibitor have protective effect on the kidneys and diabetes mellitus can damage kidneys. So ACE inhibitors have a very protective role and should be given to diabetic patient to control hypertension. So what we are trying to do by giving these drugs to in these comorbidities is that we are trying to kill two birds with one stone. We are trying to treat two, three things at the same time with one drug. In summary, if the patient has normal blood pressure, you ask the patient for follow-up every year. If the patient has elevated blood pressure, lifestyle modification and follow-up in six months. If the patient has grade one hypertension, if comorbidities are absent, lifestyle modification, follow-up in three months. If grade one hypertension and comorbidities are there like diabetes mellitus, coronary artery disease, heart failure, start medication with lifestyle modification and follow-up in one month. Grade two will definitely need medication. Lifestyle changes include diet, exercise, weight loss, and quit smoking. If the patient has no comorbidities, you can start thiazide, ACE inhibitor, or calcium channel, any one of them. If the patient has comorbidities, these drugs should be preferred. So if you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on secondary hypertension and all the antihypertensive drugs. The links of those videos are given below in the description. Thank you very much.